opportunity to go in and uh, just say a few words of congratulations. Okay, let's get into the rooms now. I just, uh, there's a fair bit of animosity when we reached the, uh, you know, when we played each other. So that's just part of footy and uh, you really, really won the players' respect, although we've always respected you. You know, you were down 18 blokes and the courage that the 18 blokes showed on the ground was uh, fantastic and what footy's all about. And, uh, you know, take the hat off to you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Buy your drink. Can I uh, just endorse uh, what Chris said? When you look at the uh, game, the teams on paper, and look what happened during the start of the game, there was absolutely no logical reason why Port Adelaide should have won today. We had everything going for us in terms of the way the games fell for us in that regard, and the way the first and second, the first quarter happened. When you look at the logical reasons, uh, you'd say, why didn't we win? And you've got to then look at the emotional reasons. And they encompass emotion, discipline, desperation, commitment. And that's where the advantage was, and that's where you guys were magnificent. And I really do want to say to John, well done. He's always a tough competitor, and he's done it very, very well. To the guys, you can be really proud of yourself. As I said, there was no logical reason why you should have done it. Family. <laughs> well, it may be family. <laughs> in, that regard, you have my, in that regard, you have my respect and my admiration. But I want to tell you that uh, you want to enjoy this moment for what it is. Because the good times are well and truly gone. Apart from Jack and the players, there's a couple of individuals out there who are responsible for that and uh, make sure you enjoy it tonight oh, because the good, minds, the good times will not happen again. Well done, boys. Thank you. Yes, and there's John Carl, a very happy man, John Carl. Three in a row, uh, Graham, he'd be delighted. In fact, uh, He's struggling to hold back a few tears here, but getting yes. back to Ken, I, I must admit, I heard John after the game say that was the best ever. Yes. That surprised me. I mean, Jack's been there so often and uh, won five premiers prior to that, right. yet he said today was the best ever. I wonder why he would think that. Well, I guess, Graham, because of the emotion that's been involved in football this year, both yep. on and off the field between the two clubs. And, and uh, perhaps losing his captain by half-time. Exactly, and uh, down to 18 fit men at yep. one stage, so uh, obviously it's, it's, it's a big win for John Carver. Graham Corns has been a fixture in South Australia.